Welcome back everyone to more iRacing content here at Knee Pit Gaming. In today's video, we're headed to Atlanta Motor Speedway, which is absolutely my favorite mile and a half track. And uh, you might want to keep count of how many times I say that during today's race, because it is. It's one of my absolute favorite tracks overall, and certainly my favorite bigger track because of the amazing racing that it uh, produces. So yeah, I'm going to talk about that quite a bit today. Unfortunately, uh, this week I haven't had much time to work on a setup for Atlanta, so I've had to make some changes to the AI because, well, I'm off the pace and uh, I did not want to skip this track because, number one, there, we don't have AI support at every track, so I definitely want to try to hit as many tracks as I can where we do have uh, AI support in iRacing but also simply because I love this track so much. So very quickly before we get into the race, let's hop through the uh, options and take a look at what we've got. So as far as weather, we'll be using the generate weather so that we'll have dynamic weather based on the individual tracks. And then race session, we'll be doing uh, once again a 50 lap race, which is not quite a full fuel run, which would be somewhere around 55, 56 laps or so um, off the top of my head. But we're close enough to get a really good idea of what the car is going to do on a long run. And we'll talk about uh, the setup and some challenges that I had for trying to create this setup this week as we continue on with the race. Now, race options, once again, we're going to disable the car damage. I hate doing that, but for our purposes right now, it is a great option for us to use, mostly not so much for us as it is the AI cars that I don't want to be damaged so that they can continue to run full speed or as close to that as they can based on their behavior. Uh, I'm going to be running the Chevy Camaro and if you're interested in what paint scheme I'm using from the Trading Paints website, it is in the thumbnail and then a link is in the description uh, down below. As far as the opponents, I'm using the same BR2021 uh, cup configuration that is available through the Trading Paints website. You can download that AI car set there if you're interested. Right now it has 34 cars, but over time I'm sure that that's going to change. And here's the biggest adjustment I made for today's video. I mentioned that didn't have a lot of time to work on setup, so the setup is compromised at best. So I had to reduce the strength of the AI a little bit just so that I could have a decent race and hopefully we're going to be starting in the back and hopefully we can make it up through the field at least somewhat um, and have some fun with this thing. So the spread is going to be 40 to 70. Uh, I generally like to have somewhere around a 20 to a 30 percent spread, uh, sometimes more, sometimes less, just depending on what type of action I'm looking for from the AI. But of course at Atlanta, Lots and lots of tire fall off, so we would expect the field to really spread out. So 30% or even more uh, really felt right for this track. Now track options, all of this is going to be basically default. Uh, we're going to have rolling starts, default at the back. All that sort of thing is the same as you might expect. Now track conditions, Atlanta is a place where you want to get right up and run the wall uh, just for fun factor, if nothing else. Uh, but here, we're going to see a lot of marbles on the track, so we're not going to be able to quite get up as high as I might like, but uh, at some point during the race, I'm going to have to get up there and have some fun with it, even if it costs us some speed and positions, simply because it's Atlanta, and it's where you're supposed to be on this track, unless you're running that Harvick line, of course. And then time of day, finally, is going to be uh, middle of the day. We're going to run that noon start, which I greatly prefer, uh, even in the real time starting. So that's going to do it for the options. Let's get to the racing. As we prepare to enter turn three, looking for that green flag off of the exit of turn four. A couple of things that I want to mention at the beginning of the video. Number one, a huge thank you to all the artists at Trading Paints for making these wonderful paint schemes available. And number two, don't forget about the hesitation or outright start and stop uh, activity of the AI here at the start. So I'm going to give these guys a little bit of room. It's not always a huge issue. Okay, there's the first... Stop. Okay, so we only got one hesitation. But it definitely would have caused contact had I been much closer. The AI, of course, don't have that issue as they can all start and stop simultaneously. So as excited as I am about today's race, uh, I'm equally as excited to see how this setup does. Didn't spend very much time on the setup this week, which is unfortunate because Atlanta is my favorite 
mile and a half track. And absolutely love this track for all the wonderful racing it has given us for like many, many years. Outside, three wide, stay low. Outside, be careful. All right, it's definitely on edge here at the beginning. Very much on edge. Oh, look out, we got Rex happening. They're trying to race. Okay, I don't know how that was. Somebody got into the right rear there. So yeah, we just got contact all over the place here at the start. These guys are three wide okay, here at the back of the field. Everybody racing hard. And right now, honestly, all I'm trying to do, oh, we got far into the wall, our corner of entry. But that's something I have seen a lot, particularly here at Atlanta. For whatever reason, I'm guessing it's a hitbox issue. But right now, I'm just trying to avoid these guys. It is not uncommon. In fact, I would imagine we're going to see that a lot during today's race. I'm trying to get to the inside. I actually prefer the outside uh, at this track. And of course, we know the high line at this track is notorious for being amazing, unless you're doing the Harvick line, which is also amazing. But the AI don't really like to get very high here at this track. So if you push them up high, they, they won't like it at all. Let's see if we can get clear of some of these guys. Car on top, outside. timid with it. Don't want to get too aggressive with the steering. Okay, Ryan. You're in on this guy. The gap's now 1.0. Alright, now we can actually see what we've got. So, for those of you familiar with iRacing, you know, generally 8 to 10 laps into a run is where the tires really start to fall off. Uh, I'm not going to push the issue here. I'm already starting to back out of it some. Each track is a little bit different, but generally 8 to 10 laps is what you're looking at. All trials are projected. It's pretty high. Yeah, as time goes on, I'm really looking forward to getting up into the upper grooves. Maybe not quite to the wall. Probably going to have a lot of uh, uh, dust and debris up there, I'm sure. If we get right up to the wall. In fact, I can look up there and glance and, and see it. Uh, but I definitely want to get somewhere around that third one. There was there another outside. car in the wall. Outside. Almost caused a big wreck behind it. I think that was the 99. So yeah, there's still a lot of things to work out with the AI. In addition to general gameplay things that we would love to see, such as them using uh, multiple grooves and, and that type of thing. Uh, but there, then there's things like that where they just get into the outside wall for no real reason. Really helped us out. We picked up three or four spots there pretty quick. So that puts us near midfield, We're creeping in on that 20th place. The big thing for me is will this setup hold up on the long run? Now that the tires are starting to fall off, is he kind of dope? He's not. Well, he might back out of it and give me the groove there, but uh, no, he did not. Good for him. So we'll try again here. Car outside. Yeah, that time he didn't have much choice. But yeah, if your setup will continue to rotate over the long run, and allow you to really use the throttle to turn the car, that's when you can make speed. If you can't, if you can't use the throttle to turn the car on the corner exit, then uh, you're going to have a lot of trouble. So I'm hoping that we're in good shape. Here. B25, our lap time was that's there outside. Stay with them. You're clear high. 
Outside, be careful. Not a hurt clear how briefly, but glancing in my Outside. mirror tells me he's still there. They're still there. He might not be top. quite next to me, but he was still close enough. I didn't want to take that chance. Alright, so that should get us to midfield. We have 23rd That's position. Time, was that? 52 Now we got some uh, pretty smooth sailing, actually. Everybody seems to be fairly spread out in front of us. So we'll see what that means for us, how the car handles, and how far through this field we're able to get. I know I'm off the pace, but uh, we'll see how far off the pace I am. Because I can just feel it. This car, there's so much more speed here than what I'm getting out of it. Definitely pouring in on the 24. The car's not quite rotating as much as I need it to through the center now that the tires have lost some grip. The time was at 52.0. Outside. Still there, stay with them. Still there. Come up on that three car pretty quick here. Let's see what happens. Car on top. You're clear out. 24 car really wanted down on that bottom. And I really didn't want to give it up. Car up high. Two on top. Clear up high. Alright, there we go. Three wide did it, but as long as you don't wreck the car. There we go, we made it. Right rear, he's wanting to turn loose on me. V21. There we corner exit. Yeah, we're at the point of the run now where this car feels like uh, we're having to completely come to a stop in the center of the corner in order to get it to turn. That certainly is not going to help with any speed. There we go, yeah. It's, it, it's starting to get loose on corner exit, which is odd because we are very tight. It's set. We'll also start to use some of the uh, second, maybe even third group, just to see how that goes. Certainly, certainly wouldn't mind getting up into the third group. I gotta stay out of the, uh, all the debris up there. You can see it right up next to the wall. I gotta stay out of it. Other than that, I wouldn't mind getting up as high as we can on the track at some point. Probably when we get up into traffic. I see these guys running side by side. Look at that. The 41 car just hopping all over the place on the track. That's why you gotta look at this track. I mean, is, you don't have bumps on Atlanta. You have waves. A little low of tap there from somebody. Who was that? Still there. See, it's not the 41. Hold your line. Because he's behind us now. Can't see who that is beside us just yet. Kind of busy. Outside. Oh, it's that wonderful paint scheme on the 43. Okay. So Eric Jones just giving us a little love tap. Here. My side. Trying to make it really difficult for us. Still there. Hold your line. Outside clear. Yeah, cars wanting to get a little loose. So basically what I'm fighting right now is so let me watch. Okay, the 20. Or excuse me, not the 20. I have to get used to saying he's in the 43 now. 43 wanted to get on our inside. So I was trying to get a, a good look at what he was doing. Uh, but anyway, what I'm fighting right now is tight into the center of the corner. Clear outside, outside. And then the car gets loose on corner exit, which is a terrible problem to have. But in order to solve that problem, what I really need is more line. rotation overall and less Hold focus on uh, the exit. Still there. I'm 
unfortunately that's going to be hard to do in there during a race. Not that we're going to make pit stops during this race anyway, but if we were, if this were a long race, our needs to rotate better. But then we can stay in there, stay with them. Maybe tighten up the exit just a bit. More than anything, I'm probably inclined to leave it as is and try to adjust on that center a little bit more. there. trouble getting by whoever this is on our outside again. I haven't been paying too much attention to who some of these cars are. Oh, that's a 14. So now's where I have to get used to not calling that Clint Boyer. But yeah, car is, if anything, use some exits. But I firmly believe as much as anything, that is a function of the center of the corner being too tight. Somehow we are working our way toward the top 15 again. I feel so it's Christmas in this car, and I know I'm way off the pace, but apparently reducing the AI overall strength has worked like a charm, and we're able to get some good racing even though I am slow. The biggest thing I can do right now to try to help the car is probably move up the track. 16. So, so I'm going to start moving around a little bit. Well, just as I say that, the 33 moved right up in front of me. Inside. Kind of entry moved down in the center of the corner. That gives us some room, so we'll scoot on by him. Bottom clear. Now, I don't pay a whole lot of attention to the lap times here during the race. But if I were testing, I would definitely be uh, recording this and I would be looking at those lap times at the end to see different times whether I'm running you know, low on the tracks, middle, high lane, what the differences are in uh, the lap times as well as how the car feels. All right, trying to figure out where the 23 is going. Yeah, car feels really nice up here in that second groove. There, outside. Making some pretty good time, comparatively speaking. Clear up high. Meantime, I go to the bottom now. At this point, I'm having to be very careful with how I use the throttle and the steering. Not too bad. The car's starting to calm down a little bit. Now that we're getting very close to, well, actually right now, lap 27, yeah, we're right at halfway through a uh, fuel run. We'll save it in here a little higher on the track this time. Car feels great up here. We love running higher. Also gives us a very nice run of the 21. Car on top. Okay, Brian. Car on top. Put outside. Clear. if we can pull away from that 21 car, Matty D, and start to close in on Ryan place. Newman. Take place. Again, not paying a whole lot of attention to the bottom right-hand corner where it's got the live timing and scoring. That's more for you guys. I'm going by visual. If I see that car in the windshield getting bigger and bigger, then we're doing good. If the car out the back, is getting smaller and smaller. We're doing good.
I am using uh, the Crew Chief add-on once again. Uh, still trying to get used to it. It's not quite giving me what I'm looking for, so I'm still going to have to look through the options and, and see if I can figure that out. Boy, the engine just sounds like it is really struggling. The slow horsepower just, wow. Anytime you have to get all the way out of the gas, break your momentum, it just, it's heartbreaking. of us is definitely getting bigger. Not quickly, but he's getting bigger. That was a 32.6. So we're just inside 20 laps to go. So at this pace, we got a shot at the top 10. So the balance of the car, uh, again, it's going to be different whether you're in clean air or in traffic. But in traffic, uh, it is definitely tight. And that's why, uh, one of the reasons why earlier when I was talking about any adjustments I might make, and I talked about how I would uh, help the car rotate better, would be my favorite thing and not so much worry about uh, the loose on exit. And this is one of the reasons why car is on the tighter side in traffic and outside we figure that we're going to spend a lot of time in traffic. Stay low, you're three wide. High side. Let's still give these guys room. He's getting on you. The gap's now. There we go. Finally got it. It just feels like they're creeping through the corner. So slow. Now, from a fun perspective, I love it when the tires have no grip. That makes it fun. Now we've gotten where the car's tighter on entry, which is by design. I did that to try to help uh, not spin the car out, particularly on new tires, and make sure we could actually get 50 laps. So that I sort of knew was coming. All right, so now we'll take a couple laps here in cleaner air. Certainly not totally clean, but cleaner air. A little tight on exit. Again, that's a little bit of security and. Just to make sure we could run 50 laps without having to worry about spinning the car out every corner. But overall, not too bad. I can live with it. Definitely needs to be a the good bit faster. But if I could get back to the gas a little better through the center and stay in it, uh, I could definitely make up some serious time. I could make up a tenth or two just from that. second and a half in front of us, it looks like. Uh, and, oh, we got some serious stuff going on with that ahead of us. We have three wide. Somebody was right on the wall going through the corner. Not sure if that was the lap car or what. Uh, I'm guessing yes. Whatever's 
going on there. The lap car is hanging in there. In fact, now we got two lap cars up there. See how well we can get through and start traffic. Better yet, let's see how well the 20 car does with this lap traffic. Oh, we had somebody into the wall there. I think that was a cloud. Oh yeah, the car is just really tight. Don't get it into the wall. Oh, just touch the wall. Yeah, really tight there. As we got closer to those cars, the captain Newman behind is now. And that's what all the drivers six. love. They love that dirty air, and that's why you hear so much about. It. And of course, we got lap traffic running side by side because, of course, we do. Inside, watching. Let's see if we can get a nice run here. Oh, look at this. They're going to be two wide. Outside. Let's make it three wide, shall we? Two outside. Stay down. We're up top. There we go. All right, so we made it happen. Unfortunately, I'm, I would imagine we've lost a lot of time on the guys in front of us. And, yeah, yeah there we go. That confirms it. So if I were working on a setup to release here on the channel, uh, then this is one that definitely needs a lot more work uh, for the long run in particular. The car just doesn't rotate enough uh, over the longer run so that I can maintain enough speed through the entry into the center. Uh, it's killing the speed because I'm having to slow the car down, losing a little bit of brake on entry, which is pretty normal for me. It's more of a timing thing. rhythm thing than anything, but uh, here I'm actually having to use it to slow down the car some. I'm trying to help the car to rotate a little bit that way. Yeah, having to get back out of the gas. One corner exit. know that we're going to be able to get back up to Christopher Bale. That's a tall order with how many? We've got six laps to go. Get back down to the bottom here a little bit. See what I can get done. Oh yeah. Car doesn't want to be down there. It's not without slowing it down a lot more on the entry. You've just done a 33.4. Alright, that's about as high as I want to get. In fact, I may be jumping the cushion a little bit by being that high. You can see we were flirting with and may have even gotten into some of the marbles there. But I haven't had a chance to really do this yet, so I want to get up a little bit higher here. Inside. We're going to have a little fun Still with there. it. Hold on. Yes, I know Ryan Newman's coming for us, but that's Still okay. There. We're going to have a little fun here at the end of this race. Still there. Come on, Brian. Push, push, push. We can catch this guy. Now you can hear the crew chief like, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> You've started slowing down. Stop Still doing there. that. Yeah, just not enough grip for me up here in the upper room where I would like to have it. Car inside. Still there. Below. We're not going to give up. We're going to fight back. The six is not just going to go away without a fight. Here. He would fight me if I were trying to pass him. So under no circumstances am I just going to let him go. also doesn't mean I'm going to stop pressing my luck up here in 
the upper groove either. Car down low. Clear inside. And it's very touchy doing that through uh, the exit of the corner. You could you could see there were a lot of marbles in, in the area where I was running. Car high outside crater. <laughs> a bit of a, a nudge there for the six car. Bring the car to a stop. And, oh yeah, we're just way too tight now. Way too tight. This is where we start pushing like the proverbial dump truck. Still there, I'll hold your line. Good job. Hard low, D14. Watch like one more lap. Not that was that clear low. Alright, one more lap left. That means it's time to get back up here. Oh, there we go. Lost some grip there. Almost got into the wall. Trying not to get up too close. Yep, got up too close. Yeah, it's just no grip up there. I want it so badly for there to be grip up there to use, but unfortunately, it's just not there right now. So that's going to do it for today. Where did we end up in 14th after I played around for the last several laps? So not too bad. I mean, we had a shot at the top 10 there. Car just got too tight toward the center. We just needed the car to rotate better. Uh, I needed more on the throttle, particularly so that I could use the gas pedal to turn the car. But wasn't to be today, but hey, it was fun regardless. We had a little opportunity to get up there and run uh, a little bit closer to the wall. But uh, hopefully in future builds, they can really get us to the point where the high line becomes uh, a much more productive groove than it is now. But not to be today. Thank you so much for joining me and stay tuned for more. AI content here at Knee Pig Gaming.